Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are making a knife with procedural Damascus material in Blender. Open a general scene in Blender and let us not delete the default cube this time, let us use it. Let us also enable screencast key so that you can follow along. Go into the front view and load in a reference image of a knife. Make sure you have the license to use it before doing so. Just saying. Resize the cube to roughly the size of the blade. Do the same in the Y axis as well. Once you're happy, go into edit mode and add loop cuts. Control R for that and 20 should be good enough. Now select the vertices and use G and Z to align them with the image without affecting them in the X and Y axis. Make sure to be in the wireframe viewport shading mode and toggle the X-ray mode on to affect the vertices on both sides of the mesh. Also, let me know in the comments if there is a faster way to do this. Add more loop cuts wherever necessary. That looks good for now. Control R to add loop cut for the blade section. Two more loop cuts to make that sectional division prominent. Select the points here and M merge the center to merge them. We need the blade edge here, right? It should not be thick. Repeat for all the points at the bottom. Leave the end points near the handle as we want a thick boy to attach to the handle. Control R and add loop cuts for the part which attaches to the handle. If you take a look at it now, it looks good enough. Just to avoid issues later, A to select all the points, M merge by distance to remove any duplicate vertices. These bad boys give a lot of headaches later. Then 2 to go into edge select mode and alt select that. Shift alt select that and carry on until you select basically all the outer edges. Once done, from the toolbar, select the bevel option and pull the yellow circle to initiate the function. Do not click elsewhere as we need to use the menu down here to control the beveled edges. Increase the segments to 10 or 20, nothing too crazy, and change the bevel width according to your tastes. Also select clamp overlap so that any overlaps due to extra width would basically be stopped. Two reasons to apply bevel. One, nothing in the real world is sharp. Two, when you apply subdivision surface, the mesh won't just shrink into itself. Those beveled edges will hold the mesh to its current form. Right click and shade smooth to admire your masterpiece. What happened here? Let's see. If you find a particular edge giving you trouble, just dissolve it or bevel that too. I'm sure you will work out something. I'm going to all select that edge and bevel it together with the others. Now that looks good, I guess. I could get away with it.
Select the cube and control 2 to add 2 levels of subdivision surface. See, it looks like a good knife already. Let's work on the material for it. Go to materials, assign a new one and name it something cool. Blade works. Change viewport shading to material preview and split the screen to open the shader editor in one of them. And to slide that out of the way and scroll in to get a better view. Shift A and search for musk rift texture. Hide to base color. Add in a color ramp in between to control the texture. Next look for magic texture and connect the factor to the vector of the musgrave. You can kinda see the effect already. Get a noise texture next and the same factor to the vector. And Ctrl T to get the remaining nodes if you have node wrangler add-on enabled. Now you can change the values in these nodes to tweak the texture to your liking. Do not forget to slide the metallic all the way to the right since it's a metal and tweak the roughness value so that it is shiny as per your liking. You can do more, I am happy with just that. Now time for the handle. Shift A, Mesh, Q. Same thing as earlier and reset it to roughly fit the reference image. In order to successfully get that nice curve, hit Ctrl A and apply all transforms. This is necessary to get uniform bevels later. There might be other ways to get the curve but this seems good for now. Hit tab to go into edit mode and select these two edges to bevel. Make sure to check clamp overlap and then increase the width until they are touching. Increase the segments to your liking. Now since we only need to make changes to the bottom section, we can add loop cuts just at the bottom and get away with it. You basically need to reduce your workload. Press 1 to go into vertex select mode and see the newly created vertices. And we get back to the select GZ loop. I say to reduce workload and then I disregard it and create this grunt work for myself. Add more loop cuts wherever necessary. To adjust the points on the curve, press O to enable proportional editing. Use the scroll wheel to set the effect area and then move the points with G. Getting it roughly correct works, you don't need to fuss about it being exactly like the reference. Do not forget to select all by pressing A, M and by distance to remove duplicate vertices. I cannot stress enough how much of a stress inducer these hidden duplicate vertices are. Press 2 to go into edge select mode and all select these edges to bevel them. And the same drill. Pull the circle, open menu, clamp overlap and increase segments. That looks good enough. Come out of the edit mode and shade smooth. Yeah, doesn't look bad at all. Now let's give it some material. New material, call it a handle. Ha, <laughs> real original. Don't forget to change the render engine to cycles and device to GPU compute. Split the window, open the shader editor and viewport shading to material preview. We don't need the reference image anymore so hide that for now. 
and to get rid of that and change the color to black. See? Perfect. Well, not quite. We can do something about it though. To make it more believable, get in a noise texture, Control D to get the required nodes attached to it. Now get a bump node. Factor from noise to height in bump and normal to normal. Give it a moment. Voila! Let's tweak it a bit. Control do for subdivisions. Change scale in noise to 200. and strength and bump to 0.2 now that looks much better maybe change the specular a bit to make it look like plastic or something yeah i am satisfied please play around with the properties if you feel that you can make it better and let me know too it is just that i'm too lazy now let's just scale it a bit more Oops, set origin to geometry and scale again. Just a bit. And we are done. Now use that knife to chop veggies or something. Don't forget to like the video if it was helpful and subscribe to the channel for more such content. See you again in the next one. Have a great day.